Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this week's interactive newsletter. We've got loads of really, really exciting things happening in this week's issue. And usual, just a few bits and bobs from me. Um, the first thing I want to talk about on uh, in Monday's assembly with the children, um, it was the first time we've had half of the school in the hall together. So I had years one, two and three together and years four, five and six together. Afterwards, we've now had um, a new projector fitted. Um, so we had uh, half the school together. We were talking about Black History Month, which, ha which happened in October. And we talked through some famous um, black people and their achievements and, and talked about how uh, obviously racism is wrong and spoke to the children about what they can do if they witness racism and obviously reporting it to either people at home or to us in school as well. So that was that was really, really interesting. I had some really sensible and mature comments from the children as well. Um, a couple of other things, a little bit about uniform. Uniform, is a, there's been a huge improvement there are a lot less trainers coming into school. There are still one or two. And as I keep saying, if there are any issues, why uh, you, you, the child, your children haven't got um, school shoes, please let us know and we will help out. Um, I'm keep mentioning it to parents when I see them and I'm gonna keep mentioning it to the children as well. It's really, really important that the children look smart. Um, you know, we want them to feel proud of St Giles uh, and take pride in their uniform as well. So uh, huge improvement, but still some trainers. Um, I also want to speak quickly about attendance. Now, there's a lot of illness about, uh, and there's obviously a, 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 there's a lot of there's still COVID around, um, and there's been you know obviously a rise in cases um, locally and nationally. Thankfully, we're not seeing the rise in hospital admissions uh, that we had last year presently. So fingers crossed that that keeps going. But I just wanted to talk to you about uh, the unauthorized absence and just give you an example. Now, this week we've had 30 days lost learning this week for unauthorized absence so that's when we've been chasing and we've not found out the reason that your child has been off now it's obviously your responsibility to let us know why your child isn't here if they're ill then we need to know about it or if you're ill and you're struggling to get them here let us know we can help out if you're ill and you need help we can do what we can to, to come and pick the children up but you must let us know. It's so important that you let us know. So that obviously 30 days lost learning. So that could be um, six children off all week, or it could be 30 children off for a day a week. Whatever it is, it has an impact on their learning and it's very, very difficult for them to catch up. And then the teacher has to spend time, obviously, going through the work that they've missed, which they do. Obviously, they do and they've got responsibility to do that. But it takes up time and it means that they can't then spend time with the other children working with them as well. So please, you must make sure that you let us know if uh, your child is poorly or if they're ill. Whatever the reason, let us know. There are so many re ways uh, for you to get in touch with us, there's really no excuse, no excuse whatsoever. So please do every effort to, to let the office know or let your class teacher know, uh, your child's class teacher rather know why they aren't in school. Um, uh, sorry about that moan. There's, anyway, this um, I want to let you know about a new library that's going to be coming into the school. Ms McCowan has spent an awful long time um, and uh, some of her own money actually putting together um, a central library for the children to use. Um, and so she's, she's filled it with lots of books from around the school, but also from her house and from, from friends' donations. And as I say, she's bought some as well. If you've got any quality books, please don't send any tatty ones in. If you have any quality books that you would like to donate to the library, um, please do. OK, so if you can send them in with your children, send them to the office. But we need quality books, quality books and age appropriate books as well, please. So primary school age books. And as long as they are for 11 years and under, we can make sure that the children get to choose age appropriate books as well. But that's really exciting. So that will be coming soon. Um, we've been talking to the children this week about fire safety uh, and about being careful. Um, obviously, it's bonfire night tonight and you might have been to firework displays uh, before tonight. But talk to the children about, you know, being safe around fireworks, going to organised events. Um, rather than doing them in your back garden and also about obviously never going to a firework uh, well the children shouldn't go near the fireworks anyway at all but certainly never going to a firework once it's been lit um, yeah so so that, that's what the staff have been talking to the children about this week so we hope you have an enjoyable evening if you're going to an event but please please all of you be careful we want to make sure we see all of the children back in school safe on Monday um, I've sent a letter out this week about parent learning conversations next week so a little bit different this year everything's gone a bit different hasn't it through 
through COVID times, but your class teachers will be in touch to talk to you about the children, just be a, um, a chance to see how well they're settling in. Um, and, uh, you know, and there'll be a chance for you to ask questions as well. So that will be happening next week after school between Monday and Thursday. OK, um, there's a letter that will be coming out from me, hopefully today. If not, it'll be over the weekend. Too much to share on here. You know, the, these are designed to be short messages from me. So there's too much to share on here. Uh, information to do with uh, some events coming up. So we've got anti-bullying week, we've got road safety week, things like that. And a few other updates and bits and pieces. So that will be coming out, as I say, either today or over the weekend. Um, and the last thing from me is uh, it's not a moan it's, it's another safety thing i've just had another uh, a few quite a few parents and some children talking to me about parking out the front again and making sure that we're not parking in the hot spots in front of the main entrances and in front of the car park because children and, and other parents struggle to see when they're crossing the road if there are cars there and there's an awful lot so please please be courteous be aware of the dangers and, and don't park in those hot spots in front of school and also uh, children, please be careful when you are walking and when you are cycling. There are still children cycling down the middle of the road, uh, not so much on Addison Drive, but as we're going around the corner, I've had some reports of children just cycling down the middle of the road. It's a very busy road. As I've said, there's, there's main roads all around here. If, please, children, you must be careful. You must be careful when you're cycling your bikes, either on the paths or at the side of the road, if that's what your parents allow you to do. Please, please be careful. OK, um, that's all from me. Hope you enjoy this week's um, issue and I look forward to seeing some of you after school and have a wonderful weekend and see you on Monday. Thank you very much.